Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? This is your girl, Jasmine yeah. Taylor, and we're here, you're here, in my motherfucking living room, y'all. Listen, it's a new setup, but everything is about change, and yeah. I feel damn good about this change. Um, There's so much going on in the world to where it's like, I'd rather be in my motherfucking house anyway. I don't yeah. want to be in nobody's face. I want to chill. I want to meet new people when I have to, but I'm good with being home. Um. You guys haven't heard me on air in like, what, two and a half, three weeks? But it's all right because, again, change is good. Y'all know yeah. y'all know me. I don't live by nobody's codes. I don't live by nobody's yeah. books. I do my own fucking thing. Yeah. Like, let me bend them rules to get where I got to go. And that's just how I operate, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Sit to the right of me. If you guys are at home watching on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever you're watching from, to the right of me, I have Greensboro's Fat Fucking Gangsta. Listen, Fat Gangsta. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. What's happening mm -hmm. on Fat hey. Gangsta. Yo, we in here. let me tell you, let me tell you. Yeah. So if y'all know me, y'all know that. How is this phone doing it? Who phone is that? That's my phone? Yes, that is my phone. Oh, snap. What it say? What it say? It said touch. Oh, uh, yeah, that's yeah. little man. Yeah, little man, like, oh, man. That's little man. <laughs> little man, oh, mama, what's happening? He kind of like, mama, I see right. you. What's happening? Yes. What's going on? It's like, dad, did you see me start? Yeah. But no, so this is what happens in real time. You guys know I don't fake the funk. Yeah, I give it to y'all, true. I get true and true yeah. and raw. Yeah. So I'm here with Fat Gangster in uh -huh. the crib. In, I want to just get to know him. I want to talk to him. Y'all know me. I don't do things like the traditional way so we just gonna chop it up chop i don't up. know him he don't know me the only thing i know he an artist a father yes, sir. from greensboro yes, <laughs> no, what's man. up with you i mean what's happening man mm. how you doing how you living i'm great yeah like yeah i'm really good first and foremost thank you for coming oh no question thank you for inviting you got me want to put my front on yeah you, you got you you got to man because when, 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 when you get when a you come chance back. to shine you gotta shine so yes. when you get that chance we gotta make it look good like you mm. know what I'm saying? Fat gangster. Uh -huh. Fat gangster shit. Yeah. Period. But no, so, fat gangster, I know that you haven't been an artist for so long. Nah, not really. Like, for real. Like, I, I went from goddamn um, growing up listening to bros in the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Spit, just sitting in the back, you know what I'm saying? Listening to them go to, you know what I'm saying? Doing a little freestyle in the middle school here and there. You know what I'm saying? Calling myself at one point in time. We we faking. Well, we back in high school, we fake battle rapping. Right. You know what okay. I'm saying? Rap, rap rapping about football teams and shit. You know so it's not like you just woke up out yeah. of nowhere and was like, "Let me rap." But you you yeah. had you always had a love uh, for it. Yeah, I always had a love for it, and I always been around it. I just was like, um, I ain't never really take it serious. Um, I went to the yard. You know what I'm saying? And um, went to federal the federal prison yard. Okay. And a lot of the bros I was around. You know what I'm saying? Was uh, artists. I know what I'm saying a lot of the bros sometimes uh, uh, bring it out of you. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they get you back into that swagger. Right. So okay. I'm, I'm around some of the bros all day, and they all they doing is beating and going all day. I was like, shit. Every now and then, let me say something. You know what I'm saying? Let I me, feel you. I feel, when yeah. I have a couple drinks, that's how I get. <laughs> yeah. Let, 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 let me say something. Shit. So I want to ask you. Last week, I saw you perform. Congratulations yes, on your album releasing uh, last yeah. week. It's a dope project. I listened to it full through. It's yeah. a no skipper. You like that thing? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. That, I yeah, do. I want to see you yeah. and Murray collaborate. Okay, yeah, that'd be dope. He's from dope. yeah. He's from the Carolinas. Yeah, he's from yeah. the Ville. He's yeah, from, he's from Ville. Ville. Yeah. Yeah. I feel Merc like Mark. yeah. I feel like he's with you guys both being big, handsome, talented niggas. Yeah, that's right. It'll hit being from the Carolinas also it a hit especially with his vocals hey, you heard and that pimp? Your work. I oh, speak things into it you heard existence. what she said pimp big <laughs> handsome fellas man yes fat gangster listen man. no you know bullshit saying? like I'm gonna give it to you how I give it to y'all some big right. Right. Let, let's do yeah. it bro let's, let, let's make it happen man Ooh, for the state y'all know for the Carolinas Ooh, that'll be dope yeah. for North Carolina that'll be so fire I yeah. speak things again into existence um I saw you without your shirt off of course which yeah. obviously your image um That's but man. i like that you have a tattoo on a place where you got staff if i'm not mistaken yeah no nah, that's uh that was um actually um what happened there um it's uh the side of a place where i got shot you okay. know what I'm saying? And, and they had to um 
cut me open, you know what I'm saying? Of course, take the buck shots I'm out. so glad you're here. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, was just, yeah. I was scoping you out. Yeah. And I'm like, I said to Liz, I said to Liz, I'm like, I need to know about him. I'm like, he has a story and yeah. I want to know it. Like, yeah. Yeah, we all man, like man, like we all got a story, but um, like my story. You got shot, and that's what. Man, like thing. um, yeah, that that that, that happened in two thousand and eight, man. Um, mm -hmm. a life I was living, some shit I was going through, things I was doing, things went the way it went, in the life we live, you know how I go. It ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. Right. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's just some shit I went through, man. Some things that happened to me, man, and um, all it really did was uh, prepare me more in life as a man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Going through different hardships. I'm going through different things, you know what I'm saying, you know, just living that life, it just prepared me more, you know right. what I'm saying, for this moment. Right. You feel me? You have so much talent, and one thing that I also love is that, like, it's it's deeper than rap. Mm. It's way deeper than rap. It's deeper than rap. It's, it's, it's way deeper than rap. It's deeper than rap. Um, When I saw, like, four grown-ass men crying last week, I'm like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the message it, is deeper than what the freak we it, know it on is, the outside. Man, man, man it, it is because man, like it's so deeper than what people know, man. Like um, all people see is the things that we give them, but a lot of people don't know the shit behind it. You know what I'm saying? People right. can talk uh, uh to your ass turn blue. You know what I'm saying? But when you didn't really been there, and you didn't been there with certain brothers and went through it, can't that never make up for that? So. You should always be way deeper than rap when it comes to some of the brothers that I fuck with in this rap industry mm -hmm. or um independent artists you know what i'm saying because i i just don't fuck with any and everybody i was about to say you know so man? like obvious because i don't even talk about fuck with anybody but like even when it comes to me interviewing people i'm picky about who i want to interview as well i ain't even gonna hold you like but um who's some art independent artists that you could see yourself collaborating besides your your teammates i already know okay. a few people you're yeah yeah like i said i see, see see one of my bros are on on the team man Cushman man mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying I like that man we already can collab on a couple of things um of course i'm gonna continue to collab with bro because he liked that of course um, uh, another couple of bros around the city man our brave five nine man y'all gotta check out bro he dope man whoa you already know what's happening um, you know what I'm saying? You got to check out the bro Zilla, man, man. Uh, Be Mighty, man. It's, it's a few bros around the city. You know what I'm saying? Let me know because yeah, I'm looking yeah, for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm it's, 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 looking it's, for y'all. It's, it's, it's a few bros around the city, man. Uh, Snap Brady, man. Brando. You know, I always struggle with your name, bro. So when you hear that, <laughs> you know how we do, nigga. Uh, what is it? Brando, Brady, Bra Snap. Okay. Yeah, Brando. Brando. Yeah, there you go. Okay. The pimp, man. But it, but it's, 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 a, it's a few of... Um, great artists around here man um for real like we just don't get looked at i guess because where we from you know what i'm saying because where we from yeah you better know it but <laughs> like but uh but greensboro north carolina man we are so dope man on the yes. on the north side they got talent over there you know it, what i'm saying this uh, is the east side yeah 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 not, not this what's right this? here what's this is this? the north side <laughs> i don't know yeah, what's where, where, where we at right there you on the north side <laughs> i don't know, you know what I'm saying? shout out to them boys that rep the north man you know what <laughs> okay, I'm saying? okay okay but uh but but yeah man we got some great artists on the north side of town uh, the west side of town, man. South, like, we got uh, some great artists. And what we trying to do in the city, man, we just trying to bring our city up. Everybody right now just working. And y'all going to hear our city real soon. Not for nothing, yeah. Greensboro reminds me of the old Brooklyn. Like The old Brooklyn? Yeah. Have you ever visited Brooklyn? Man, hell no. I'm a country nigga, man. I'm going to be ah, real. Ah, but you been to Philly, I, and that's real. our I'm neighbors. I, I, like, I went, to, I went to Philly two times, right? <laughs> okay. The first time I went to Philly, it was not pleasant because I was in FDC Philly. Okay. The federal okay. holdover. Okay, federal, right. Yeah, so, so, so of course, I man, that shit wasn't what it was. But okay. The second time I went back on a visit to hang out, I did enjoy myself. I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? But... I'm I'm mostly not. So I, I stay in the south, man. Ah! I, like I, I like I, I I I love the south, man. Like I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina, no question. But South Carolina, I be there. Mm -hmm. Florida, I be there. Mm -hmm. Mississippi was had just in. a southern you know nigga. Yeah, yeah. But the, the, the farthest <laughs> up north I ever been, like free on some have a good time, uh -huh. was Millville, New Jersey. Well, that's still our neighbors. Yeah. I mean. Honestly, but that was country too. That is country. That's not like New York. I like New it Jersey. though. I like that country shit. That's true. I seen cows and shit, chickens. That's all. Because even when shit. it comes to even when it yeah. comes to New York, like certain parts of New York, well, New York City is the city. You go, it's New York City. Yeah. But when you go upstate New York, you would like so never you would like upstate New York because it's kind of like, for example, when people tell us, oh, Syracuse. 
Binghamton, Rochester. Yeah, yeah. Us city kids, we're like, get the fuck out of here. You're not even from the town. Like, hey, 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 listen, that's crazy. <laughs> you said that on the federal yard. Some of the brothers is like that. Like, you mean some of the brothers from there? Man, that motherfucker ain't from New York, New York. Yeah, like, oh, you're, well, not, right. you're not from New York, New York. I, I used to be like, what's the difference, bro? You're like, man, that nigga from up there, bro. They ain't, they ain't shaking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right. You know what I'm saying? That true? But it's shot like, because I, I got a lot of bros, man. You know what I'm saying? That, mm-hmm. that they are from up north. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, and, and I got a chance to run into them guys in federal prison. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And linking with some of them guys, real talk, that made me be like, damn, if I'm, people from everywhere in the world fuck with me, I know I'm all right. No, you really are. You, you know really are. But when you I was saying, me? like, Greensboro reminds me of the old Brooklyn, and I say that in the sense of. I, I wouldn't know. You got to give the it to history. Me. So, yeah, for give example. Me. Give it to me. I came much. down here to Greensboro. I yeah. already knew some history because my grandmother, I was raised by, she was a teacher. Yeah. She was born in 1928. Ooh. So <laughs> she told me the history of Greensboro. Okay. When I first got to Greensboro, I lived around the corner from the land of the Greensboro Massacre. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So I'm like, oh, my God, this is so crazy. And me, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a very spiritual person. Uh-oh. So my energy just yeah. was like, yo, I need to start doing more homework. Like, what's really going on in Greensboro? Yeah. So I started understanding... Um, what is it? Westgate Boulevard, Westgate City. High Point Road, think, man. Yeah. Like, High Point Road, man. Yeah, they, like, they changing that High Point well, Road. Well, whatever it is called, <laughs> yeah. that is, um, that was like the original slave trade land. Like, it's so much Speak going that. on. So, yeah. it reminded me of the stories my grandmother used to tell me from being back in New York, because she was born in a house in New York, in Brooklyn, New York. So, she never went to the South. People thought she was from the South, but mm. nah. So, she would tell me the gentrification. And yeah. even even within the two years of me being here, I see the same thing in Greensboro. Okay. And I also see the potential that Greensboro has. So, yeah. like, certain things, is, it's so nostalgic to me because I'm like, yo, I remember Brooklyn, in quote, being the slums. But then certain parts of Brooklyn is expensive. It's this. It's the white people. It's the retired people. But here we are. I'm, I grew up in a project. So, yeah. here we are in a project. Pissy elevators, this and that. Because, you know, the projects in the city is different than down here. Yeah. It's pissy elevators. Rats running around. It's mad nasty. But yeah. now, the same projects I grew up in, a one-bedroom apartment is $1,800. So, the gentrification is ridiculous. And because there's so much freaking open land in Greensboro, mm. I'm like, we could build up the block for our black businesses yeah facts. like it's so much opportunity so many opportunities in greensboro yeah, and i'm like i came down here for a reason i don't know what yet mm-hmm. but it's for stop oh, <laughs> it's man. for something yeah, listen, yeah. it's for something i don't know i really like greensboro people like jasmine you from brooklyn new york like what even brought you to greensboro i don't know i'm one of those people to take that leap of faith and just do whatever my time. feet tell you me got, to do you got to. That's yeah. what that's what I did with the rapping. I was just like, man, you know, cause um, be real, cause I like, you know, what I'm saying, I, like I, I cook, I cook too, you know what I'm saying, and um, like I was like, man, real talk. I say, man, I need to, if I can, take my words and make something happen with my words, put my words on paper. If I can make something happen, let me try it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, and I think that's better than yeah. like being in the streets it, or it, just. It is. You know. I, I just said fuck, cause I was working a legal job and I was cooking and everything. And I just say, man, you know what? You was me, cooking? Yeah, 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 man. I was okay. cooking, man. I, I was, you know what I'm saying, chefing it up in the kitchen, getting my cook on, man. And I, and I just say, you know what? Fuck it. Let me try it. You know what I'm saying? I can rise or dazzle. Let me try it. You know what I'm saying? So I just jumped out and fucked it. What's your favorite thing to cook? I'm going to be real with you, man. Um, it, it depends, man, because who I'm, and who I'm cooking for. It depends. You feel me? But what if uh, you cooking for yourself? If I'm cooking for myself, because you know I'm a southern boy, so I'm gonna cook me some country shit. Man, I'm gonna cook me mm. something. So it might sound simple, but it's let me hear it. Let skill. me hear it. Man, a good old shrimp and goddamn grit early in the morning. No, but man. that's good. Like it sounds you know simple, but not everyone can make shrimp a good and grits. Shrimp and grit early in the morning. How man. do you like your grits? I'm gonna be real with you. I'm because my my got to be a little. Thick, little salt, pepper, a little butter up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you, you put sugar, me? or is that a, a I have sugar? had sugar in my grits with the butter. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's like that too. Mm-hmm. Especially when it the, is. It's like that, listen, especially, especially when the oh, one of them biscuits, <laughs> one of them damn biscuits. You ooh, yes, yes. Like, How do you like your eggs? You like eggs? I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not a. I'm you not an egg fan, it. man. Like, I, if I'm gonna eat an egg, it gotta be fried. I gotta uh, eat you a look fried like a egg. fried egg. Person. That motherfucker gotta be fried, man. I ain't eating that other shit. I ain't mm-hmm. scrambled that all that yolk and all that. Nah, mm-hmm. fuck that. Okay. You know I mean? It's so, like I hate cooking poached eggs. 
Oh mm-hmm. man, I don't even know how to make it. I always mess it up. Man, you gotta have that, that vinegar and water. Your vinegar okay. and water. It got it. got to be at a good temperature before you drop okay. the, the egg in there. Before you crack it in there. Okay. And you just let it sit a few minutes, man. Give it about a good three. I love three me a minutes. good egg, uh, yeah. egg Benedict. So. Oh, there yeah. you go. Hello. I love me a good egg Hello. Benedict. What? Oh, yeah. Being down here in North Carolina, though, I gained a good eighty pounds. <laughs> I swear to God. See, that's that country shit. I gained so much weight, you guys. I'm like, oh my gosh, this and is really what it's like. And that's why because it's country and a little city. It got Greensboro is a, it's a balance. Man, it's country with a little city to them. I tell oh, people man. up north that all the time. Like, yeah, I live in North Carolina, but where I live, man. it's accessible to city shit. Yes, like, it's yes. not. I said, if you want a, a steady pace, Greensboro's where you can go. Yeah. You don't want to go to Charlotte because it's too much. You don't want to go to Atlanta because that's too much to Charlotte. And New York, way too much. So the balance, man. I feel yeah. like for me. Is Greensboro. Yeah, country city bound. However, I ain't gonna hold you. I feel like y'all more rude than I. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, pimp. Hey, I listen. swear to God. I feel Ooh, like y'all. No, no, listen. <laughs> listen, we ain't gonna never say. This is the place of Southern hospitality. No. Listen, mm-hmm. we, man, we, so, listen I'm gonna be real with you. Like my time in Millville. Even though I okay. say. And like right. I got there now, and I'm thinking it's like here, you know what I'm saying? You know. Us down here, bro. You see, you see a man, real bros, like eyes. You might be like, "What up?" Uh-huh. Up there, I lock eyes. Bro. I'm like, "What up?" He like, "What you saying, son?" <laughs> I don't know no, what the fuck. Hey, no, no, hey, no, pimp. No. I ain't, I ain't pimp. No, I feel you like really my are. experience maybe because again, I'm from New York, so yeah. I'm used to it. Yeah, you used to it. See, used yeah, to it. that's y'all right. swag, though, y'all. Well, you speak to him up there. You like, "What's up?" What you mean, "What's up, son?" You know what I'm but saying? But it you depends know? on how you say, yeah. "What's up." Because if you say, if you look me up and down, like, yo, what's good? We got smoke. Yeah, that's that's a whole different ball. Game. You know what I mean? Like, it that's depends on how you game. say that's it. A different ball game. But, for example, like, I don't know, my experience down here, I feel like. You looked at me like I was crazy. A little, bit, a little bit more. I don't, I don't know how to put it. Nah. But I feel like us New Yorkers, my experience is like if we're staring at you, we eat at least gonna be we're staring at you because we probably checking your gear out because you got some fly shit on, or we go and speak. Mm. That's how that's my experiences. Maybe it's different because I'm a female. She trying to make sound good. Nah, she, maybe it's my. She trying to no, make that maybe sound it's a different. So we, we looking at you up and down. It's because we think you got us some fly shit. Nah, yes. that's because you want some smoke, nigga. No, <laughs> not all the time. Not all the time. Not all the time. I don't know. I just like the balance that I've experienced. Yeah, facts, 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 I like the balance that I've experienced being from New York, like yeah. Brooklyn, New York, at that, and Brooklyn. then coming to Greensboro. Um, Shout and out I to like Sleepy, the people. Yeah, Sleepy from Brooklyn, my, my And bro. I like who's Sleepy. Sleepy on the yard, man. Shout out okay. to the bro, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Sleepy. I think you would definitely enjoy visiting New York. It's so much to do. It's so many connections. I, listen, I don't mind going anywhere. You no, know so I go anywhere. Anywhere. I just and then word is that you old. that you a free man. Your, oh yes, 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 <laughs> man, yes, yes. I am. Listen, I I didn't get off the. You no, know, listen, listen. I'm, I'm, got off the you know. You know where I'm. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm I'm home now, man. I, and did everything the right way. Congratulations. The way you're supposed to. You know what I'm saying? No telling on him. No telling on her. Just go do your time. Come home. Do your Run that back. No telling on him. No telling on her. No telling on him. No telling on her. Do it it's the right way. It's a lot of ratatouille yeah. and stuff. Yeah, now just go do your time and come the fuck home. Stay out the way, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, federal prison taught me how to stay out the way out this motherfucker. So, what was, like, because I, I watch a lot of jail shows, but it's nothing like talking to someone who has experience, you know? Yeah. Um, what was the difference for you, like doing state and then fed time? Like, see, I, I ain't have never, you ever did I that? never, I never did state time, so I can never speak on state okay. time. I'd be lying or faking mm-hmm. if I say anything about state mm-hmm. because I wouldn't know. Besides, visiting my brothers that was doing state time, mm-hmm. um, the times they was doing state time, and from going to visit them, you know what I'm saying? I can't, you know, was, right. You prison, you know what I'm Pri- exactly. Prison. It's prison. So, um, yeah, like, Guilty County. This is what I was told that it's called. County, yeah. Um, what's what was it like growing up for you in Greensboro? I'm gonna be real with you, man. Like for me, man, I'm um, growing up in a single parent home. Oh, your mother. You know she's saying? a rider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Raising, Y'all touched my well, heart man, last listen, week. R- raising four boys, man, mm. by her goddamn self, working all the time, trying to take care of us, uh, leaving us. Uh, what would you say? Uh, free time to explore how to become young men <laughs> you know what i'm saying perfect so, terminology you know, yeah you know, so that and that's what happened you know what I'm saying? in that free time 
we learned how to become young men <laughs> and, uh, right. and, and the way we had to become it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Uh, whatever way that was. Right. Uh, but also, man, like for me, um, what helped me out was I, I was I was a good player in football. I played football. Okay. Yeah, I played, um, you know what I'm saying? I go back old school, Lincoln Hornets, man. I James B. Dudley so, High, so. Little Fairville State, man. Um, that, w- that was my thing. That's what kind of saved me right there okay. because – yeah, I had uh, both feet and I had one foot in here going to school and doing this, you know what I'm saying, hanging out. Because my understanding was, I mean, that's where the girls was and shit. I, I got to want to go hang out yeah, with them. Yeah, the like, girls were definitely in school. Know what I'm but then I had the other side too, like the bull, like nigga, after school hours. Right. You know what I'm saying, my, my after school activities. Then it's like you mixing them both. You bringing some of the street shit to school, you know what I'm saying? Bringing some of the school shit to the street. Shit Damn. was crazy, man. Whenever I hear stuff like that, I just think of movies, honestly, because, you know, like, I feel like based on your upbringing, it's always different experiences, you yeah. know? Um, <clears throat> our trenches in New York might not be you guys' trenches down here, right. and vice versa. For example, I'm going to tell you what I learned, I, though. What's up? And no matter where it's at. The trenches is the trenches. The trenches, yeah. The trenches is the trenches. Just people do it in different ways. You know, I feel <laughs> like the reason this is my all my opinion, I feel like the southern trenches might be a little bit more worse because there's not like a lot of law enforcement just walking around. You know, we have like foot patrol we in New York. Horses we have, and all types yeah, of Yeah, we have everyone <laughs> like on every corner. There's literally Police officers yeah. on every corner in New York for the most part. So mm. it's like if they're not in the corner. So it's really hard for certain stuff. Now, me watching First 48 my whole life, I done seen Greensboro and them motherfucking long times, Burlington, all types of stuff, right? Uh, no comment. No, and it's not even about you. It's in general. Okay, you just, yeah, I, it's I, I, not listen. about you. Yeah, you're right. She's right. It's not about you. I'm well, not talking about, about you. Yeah, she's just talking about, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not talking yeah, about I, you. Whatever about, I, you know. No, I, <laughs> like in general, like for example, the triad area, I should yeah, say. Yeah, there you go, the, the triad I've area. I've seen the triad area a lot on certain shows and stuff and i'm like wow how is that possible oh well now that i live down here i'm like well the policing and shit is completely different Uh, like see like like i said because i've never really been up north so i Mm -hmm. like besides uh new Jersey, i really never had a chance to really experience like the real police force up north like i be seeing them and you 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 don't and what you see on the tv i'm not even gonna hold you is really how it is in new york i don't like them i mean i don't like none of the motherfuckers i don't like none of the motherfuckers but what i'm saying is Mm. like it's good cops bad cops anywhere you go yeah it's good cops bad cops but them new yorkers them they new yorkers like (laughs) they 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 dirty they really disgusting you know but what i want to say is like I feel like, like you said, the trenches is the trenches, Whatever, and it's man. what you make out of it. Mm. So the fact that you've obviously been through the dirt, been through the mud, you've experienced a lot of things. Yes, ma'am. God damn it, your name fat gangster. So yeah. like, how did you find the balance, like throughout the shit that you've been through? How you even found the balance? I'm gonna keep it real. It, it's, to be honest and real, man, that shit ain't no balance, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's gonna intertwine either way. You know what I'm saying? Because who you are in general always going to come into a conflict somewhere. Because that's just who you are as a person. Mm-hmm. Ain't no way around it. You know what I'm saying? Who you are is just who you are. But how you deal with certain shit? I'm going to be real with you. Like, I deal with it like, um, just like with anything. Whatever happens, happens. You know what I'm saying? I go in, I go in everything um, with peace of mind. Like, I do everything out of love. You know what I'm saying? You always but, been that way? No, nah, that's I ain't why I, I'm that gonna way. ask you. So, like, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. What make me think now is what humbled you? Fe- I'm gonna be real with you. Federal prison is one thing that humbled me, but more than that, that shit don't even matter. My daughter, my my baby girl, that's what humbled me the most. Because I, when I first came home from prison, the first thing she did was wrote me a letter, and in the letter she made me promise her I wouldn't go back to prison. Oh, you had to and fulfill I, that man, promise. And, and 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 to this day, like I'm gonna be real with you, and there be certain situations when you be wanting to do some dumb shit, you gotta think about that. It gotta really be worth it. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's so so. That's how you gotta look at it. Now. That shit gotta really be worth it. Yo, you said some shit last week that mm. touched my heart. Like oh, last week when I was at your event. Like, I was getting chills, and it was hot as fuck outside, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how real it was. Yeah. You said, your mother was like, whether you want to run, I'm with you. Whether you want right. 
do the time I'm with you. Man, that's shit. some real man, this, shit. Man, listen, that, that, that's what made me be like, you know what? Let me go ahead and get this little beard over with because shit, if everybody leave, I know it's going to be one motherfucker there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to pick up that motherfucking phone call of when course. I call. And even though I used to get on the ass about coming, man, don't come up here and see me. She be like, nigga, you my son. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she used to tell me, man, she cussed me out one time, right? She sent me some money uh-huh. while I was in prison. I'm like, mom, man, don't be sending me no damn money, man. I, I told you, you know what I'm saying? I ain't asked for it. She said, nigga. She said, you my son. Mm-hmm. And when I send you money, that shit ain't for you. It's for me because exactly. you mine. That and is I, true. I had to shut up. Then she told and me to shut parent, the fuck up. So yeah, you got it. You yeah. Then she punked me. She hit me with that shut the fuck up now. So it's like, <laughs> all right, I gotta take it. But that just was like, as, as a parent, when you think about when I thought about what she said, I'm like that makes sense because a, a lot of shit I do for my kids, you know what I'm saying? They don't understand. Like, 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 it, like, nigga, it ain't. Y'all don't understand because, like, when you when you had your kids and you trying to raise them in this world and you want them to do some different shit from you and you want them to stay away from different shit than you, like I have my son, because my baby boy be around me all the time. He you know uh, he's yeah, your I, your clone. Time. Yeah, yes, yes. I, I got. Well, I got, you have I a got few four. children. Yeah, I, I got four. I got two daughters. And, and I got two boys. sons, okay. man. Um, well, the one I met, yeah. that is your, uh, that, yeah, that's, that's your, twin, that's a, your mirror. That's my little gangster, <laughs> man. But, uh, but how I be on his ass, because cause I, I always let my son see, man, it's way bigger than the shit you seeing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it may, it may look good, but on, it's some more shit to it. You know what I'm saying? Than the shit that you just see. Like you say, I smoke in mirrors. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's way deeper, man, than the shit you see, man. And I, and I have my son around it, and sometimes people be like, and why you got your son around it? Man, I keep my son around it because he so he can see the real. Mm-hmm. Like I let him see. It's certain boundaries I would never let him cross. Like like I have a, my son around brothers um from all sides of the fence mm-hmm. to teach him something that other people not teaching in the world, and that's unity and love. And that's one thing. Yeah. Like me being out um outside with y'all last week, I'm looking because. For example, now that's the difference in New York, from up north to down here. When I say up north, because us from New York City, where we say up north, we think the feds, we think yeah, big yeah, boy time. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. me being in South, I got used to saying up north, meaning New York. But um, the gang life is completely different. So, like, you see how certain children, like, children are around certain lifestyles, right? Mm-hmm. Instead of being educated, it's like they're just there. To nah. be there, and that's one thing that I've seen a lot in New York. But when uh, I was with you guys last week, I'm like, okay, this is his little man, his son, his heart, and what I'm getting from each man around. Again, y'all showing brotherly love, no yeah, pun intended, but that's what I'm seeing. Oh, you get what I mean? It's yeah. a difference from exposing your children to certain lifestyles and not educating them, yeah. and exposing them and educating them like. For example, the how I was brought up, there was a the unit. That's what it was about, unity. Yes, ma'am. You understand what I mean? Um, and it's not. I, I know in New York it ain't like that no more. <laughs> it ain't like that in New York. So I like that. Okay, although your your child, your children, he might. I don't know how you live your life. None of my business. But from what I see, although he is around it, I do see that. He's educated as oh, well. Oh man, listen, man, I be on my son's ass. Listen, not even just one about one bad school, but grade, in general, like yeah. just just period. Because he's very I, respectful. I like for my kids, like for, see my son now, like all four of my kids when they out in public. See, they've been around it so long they can see it coming now. They know when they're in danger. They know when some shit ain't right. Okay. They can be looking like, hey, oh hell no, nah, it's time to go. You know what I'm saying? We can see the shit coming. And your children are from the yeah, age ranges yeah, yeah, of what? Yeah, I got a, a 16 year old, I got a 14 year old, I got an 11 year old, and I got an 8 year old. Those are damn good ages. Yeah, yeah man. Those are pretty good ages. Yeah. Kamaya, Samaya, Zali, and Christopher Jr., man. Oh. They're my four babies. Them, so them, them, all my step kids. I got about a million of them. I ain't oh, gonna that's go so sweet. Names. You a family yeah, man. Yeah. That's yeah, so sweet. Yeah, because I got, I got my own step mom. Like my lady, she got mm-hmm. three kids. And, okay. And and I'm, I look at them as my own too. As you should. But the then, freak. But but then also like through um in my lifetime because you know we ain't, to take a village, yeah, nigga. Like, yeah, I, I, I done been through relationships and built bonds with certain kids and mm-hmm. it'd be hard you just can't turn it off you know what i'm saying for them kids i get it you know what I'm but saying? it's still and it again yeah. no people don't realize i guess at least because grandparents getting younger and younger and shit yeah. like it really takes a village yeah you got to man because i'm gonna be real with you because 
We the only people. We if we don't take care of us and do the things for us, who the fuck gonna do it? Mm -hmm. Nobody, cause don't nobody care. You know what I'm saying? It's us versus the world. Mm -hmm. Like that's why um, when you was out there and you see the different brothers from all different denominations together, I'm um, preaching unity because, man, we trying to change something because man, um, like my you heard my one brother say, man, um. That song on the set, man, it's deeper than just that thing. Mm -hmm. Us as a people is a set, too. You guys tearing up. Like, yeah. I loved it. Because, that again, like, I feel like, shit, that's real, real. fucking gangsters cry, nigga. Yeah. That's what I was taught. That's what I'm around. Yeah, it, and, and it's real. It's so much. It's, it's a message. Even behind your song, Purge. Like, yeah. it's a message behind that. You get what man. I mean? So, I really fuck with what I seen last week. That's why yeah. I'm like, nah, I want to get to know him. Who is he? Yeah, like, it got to be authentic. Like, yeah. see, that's the thing. Some people be just trying too hard. Mm -hmm. Nah, it got to be really nah, what it gotta is. Nah, you got to let things flow. Yeah, you got, it got to be really what it is. Like, all that was real love. I saw and I felt you know it, saying? for sure. Even with some of the bros that was just performing, and, and this might have been my second or third time meeting him. It was genuine love. It like, was. You know what I'm saying? Nobody hating on nobody. Everybody supporting everybody. It was dope. Saying? I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I want to thank you for inviting Liz, for inviting King Nibbles out to be yeah, a vendor. No she had her food Ooh, out there. Big e -E. Yes. Ooh, big e -E. It be killing me because she got me as her assistant. But yet, um, I need assistance. No, I don't need assistance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But she has me as her assistant and I love yeah. her. I love helping her because it leads opportunities for me to meet new people. Smart. And I do believe that everyone crosses paths for a reason. Yeah. I have another question. Um, you ever looked at yourself getting into acting? Acting? Um, I, I never really thought about uh, it. I just... I think I, I'm gonna good. be real with you, man. I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep Not it. Not even on no heavy actor shit, nah, but like if it's but, a trenches type of move. But, but my thing, thing, like I don't really be wanting to be like my thing is um. Even like with the rapping, man, and, and everything that, you know what I'm saying, I'm doing with the team I'm with, you know what I'm saying, our 71 Heavy Handed Tribe, um, with all the bros that we work with, um, something we, we, we doing, man, like me, I don't really want to be famous. I just want to be in a position where mm -hmm. I can take care of myself and those around me to make it better so for So what them. if you was to so get cool act, doing set for something? Now, if they call me on set, like I say, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> and, and, and that bread, you know, uh -huh. can help me do the things I just told you about I'm trying to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm there. Chick change. I think Cash I think in. you should definitely look into Cash tapping in. into acting too. I'm not even gonna mm. lie. Like for uh, when I first not when I first moved down here, but in the beginning of the year, there's this web series that's based in New York. It's called Project T, right? Mm -hmm. It's a fire web series. You guys should check it out. Actually, it's called Project T, but it's in New York, but then they also have Atlanta, the, um, the DMV area. They have a few locations, so they branched out now. And they hit me up and was like, Jasmine, you're in North Carolina. Let's start a franchise in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't know nobody. Like, I don't really know anyone who would act, but there's people like you because it's, again, like, it's a purpose behind yes, everything that they're, like, the visuals behind it, but it's also some shit where it's street stories. Okay. in it but it's it's a good series you guys just need to check it out well, it's called project well, well once TV. again yeah. for anybody looking yes. and watching the yes. show if the money is right yes. i'm there exactly but i ain't wearing no dresses or kissing no man first and doing foremost that i wouldn't shit. even tell you to do no shit no, I'm, saying, I'm, just, I'm just saying for you to be crazy right, for the selling out man i ain't even want to sell out like that I, okay bro. speaking about selling out yeah, and all of that stuff i don't want to yeah. say weird but you know all of that stuff have you been aware of like this whole the baby stuff like with what's going on with social media i'm gonna be real i'm because i don't really i don't really be getting to like on my i don't think i do on social media i'm gonna keep it real because i'm trying to get myself jumping uh -huh. all i do is push me i so, don't really be studying. real quick i got i'm gonna tell you this the story real yeah. quick just so i can get your opinion so okay. the baby recently performed at rolling loud uh -huh. and um he said if you ain't a nigga what he said? He was like, if you not a nigga that's going in the parking lot, sucking no dick, put your, um, light your phones up, put your phone in the air, right? So now, no, first he said, if you not nobody who have HIV, no AIDS, no shit that'll kill you in the morning, put your phones up. Then he said, if you not no nigga sucking dick in the parking lot, put your phones up. <laughs> so his DJ was like, word, be real about your shit, baby. He was like, word, because a lot of y'all niggas is sus, right? 
the whole LGBT community, not me included, because I don't think he said anything that's homophobic, but they're trying to, in quote, cancel him. Like, he's lost endorsements and everything based off of that statement. Do you feel like that was homophobic? Man, I'm, like, Like, the world is just so sensitive about the wrong shit. The shit you need to be sensitive about and worried about motherfuckers don't even worry about. But the shit that motherfuckers don't need to be worried about is what they worrying about. Man, listen, leave that shit. Let's talk about some real shit going on in the world. Some shit that's gonna help mm-hmm. us get our economy and some shit together for our people. And that's what he yeah, keeps and that's man. what he keeps on saying yeah, too. He like, yo, y'all trying to talk about I'm homophobic, but yeah, there's mad there's bigger issues right so, there. So bigger issues. Like like I'm gonna be real with you. Like um I don't disrespect nobody if that's their choice, that's what it is. That's their choice. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what it is. That's their choice. For sure. We all got choices. And, and Good choices yeah, and bad you choices. Can't judge nobody on their choice if that's what they want to do. So let them live their life. But other than that, I'm gonna be real with you, man. I'm, I'm gonna say what the fuck I feel, and ain't nobody gonna stop me from saying what the fuck I feel. Mm-hmm. So when a person say what they feel, that's how they feel. They that's that. To let you that's know. that rude Carolina yeah. stuff nah, that, that, that nah, I said nah, earlier. You know what I'm Y'all from the Carolina. Well, shout out to my nigga that baby there. <laughs> fuck it, yeah. That's how we doing it, man. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga the baby there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> baby on baby on baby right, on baby, you know what I'm saying? But nah, I definitely feel like people are focused so much on, on the, the wrong, wrong shit. shit yeah, this nigga, what's his name? The um the Amazon nigga who own Amazon, he flying to fucking space and shit. Like yeah, he oh, flew. What, bro? He what flew to like is- the outer layer of space a couple weeks ago. Like y'all niggas is just rich and doing dumb shit. Like he has the amount of money to end. Homelessness to end hungriness in America. But I ain't want all of that. that shit. Don't want to help with none of all that. All of that. But doesn't want to help. I mean, I, who am I to tell anyone what to do with their bread? But it's it's just common courtesy. Like it's just you know Le- what happened to yeah. the the like yeah, humanity weird. and yeah, that's right. I, I just don't know, man. Like I said, the times has changed, mm-hmm. and it, and it's like you say it is, and it's getting in them points and times where it'd be like, damn, it is what it is. No, I'm saying. We might eat close. Are you vaccinated? No. Uh, oh, <laughs> like, yes, I'm, I'm how do you feel? No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just joking. Uh-huh. How do you feel about this whole, like, how has the pandemic been treating you, I should say? I'm going to keep it real, man. Um, It has hit close to home. I know people that have lost family members right. um, with this. I don't lost a couple family members myself. So I do know it is something that's real. But, uh, like, I'm a realist, man. Uh, and the way I look at it is, I'm going to keep it real with you, um, if you're gonna catch that shit, you're gonna catch that shit. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Mm-hmm. There's people that's getting vaccinated and still catching it. Mm, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it ain't no duck in that shit. If you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it. So all that other action, all that shit. Now, I believe in it. If you're gonna go out, wear your mask and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I don't believe, and I'm not gonna tell nobody to, to go get that shot and it's for everybody because. It ain't for everybody. That's a fact. There's some people who so, have never been vaccinated in life and they're fine. Man, like, I know people man. who have never been vaccinated at all. They immunization record is blank. And they fine. But they don't talk about the people that didn't took the shot and get fucked up from the shot either. They yeah. don't talk about that shit, though. Yeah, I, I, I know, for man. example, with me, I haven't gotten a flu shot in almost 10 years. Man, because the, well, I noticed when I would get the flu shot, I get sick, sick, as, sick hell. as hell. Yeah. And I'm like... Absolutely not. Ain't no way I'm gonna I already that had I, last year, 2020, January, I had COVID. And I'm like, y'all want me to feel like that again to get this shot so I don't Hell feel like that? No, that I'll pass. No <laughs> I'm like, Man, I'll pass. Man, I mean, again, I. It, whatever flows people's votes, but I do, do feel thing. right. Yeah. Do your thing. It, it, just do your research. I always tell people Facts. think logically, Ooh. make wise decisions. Like, And that's where everything. Man. Shout out to my Auntie Gail. She used to say that to us when we were little girls. Think logically and make wise decisions. Yeah. And that's something that I live by all the time. Because Say that one more time. That was dope. Think logically and make wise decisions. Ooh, we. Seriously. Because, yeah. like, for example, we have Ooh, a, a heart. We have a heart and we have a brain. Facts. People be like, oh, follow your heart. Man, fuck, fuck that, that shit. shit. <laughs> fuck that. Fuck, fuck that following shit. your heart. Because at the end of the day, your heart get you holds killed. emotions. That shit will get you crushed. And then, exactly. Your heart will get you killed and crushed. But then also, people don't think the whole biological aspect of it. Yeah. A heart is something that carries emotions. And yes, emotions ma'am. change every few seconds. Yeah, that's what it is. So you're going to follow your heart. And then a few seconds later, you're going to change. No, actually... 
critically think, use that noggin of yours Emotion. and actually think that's why we have mm -hmm. it, you know? So I really yeah, break man, down emotions. that saying as yeah. I've gotten older, like, wow, think logically and make wise decisions. And when I say wise decisions, it's for longevity, not something, some temporary shit. Facts. It's not no temporary Facts. shit at all. Um, obviously you recently became like started taking music serious. Were you able to get the chance to perform like a, in a larger crowd yet? Um, in a larger crowd, not yet, man. Like I, I didn't been up to Durham, um, mm -hmm. performed out in Durham, um, down here, man. I performed a couple times at Bar Latino. Shout out. Um, I didn't perform uh, right there at Heath Park. Okay. But we really ain't hit that. You know what I'm saying? Have, are you familiar with um, a person? Her name is Mir, M I R. Probably not. I'll talk to Liz about her, right? Okay. But Mir Empire on social media. And she's out in the Durham, Fayetteville, like she's in those areas. And when she, she has events like all the time, okay. performance events. It's a location called Jonathan, somewhere in Durham. I think it's in Durham, Raleigh, Durham. Is that the same place? Uh, close. It's close. They're close, right? They're right there. Well, it's in Raleigh. It's in Raleigh. It's called Jonathan's. And she has events there all the time. Not just that, but she know she's just one of the people who's always in the know when it comes to artists like when artists need something they go to her like hey do you know where's a upcoming concert i could perform at and things so you can definitely um your team have your, them reach out to her okay. again i'll um give that information but i don't know i never met her in person but i follow her on social media I had a few conversations and she you need to get out there because you bigger than Greensboro, and say that's that. the purpose. You're say bigger that. than Greensboro. Like, why? Yeah. yeah, say that. You're definitely bigger than Greensboro. Yeah, that's right. And I feel like, yeah, I know you say you just want to be in a position, but there's so much. Like, what's some other shit, shit that you like to do? Man, I'm going to be real with you. I like me, man. Like, besides hanging out, man, you know what I'm saying, trying to make the young bros think a little better, man. Mm -hmm. I just like to be out the way, man. I like to... You know what I'm saying? Fat gangsters just like to kick it, do gangster shit, mm -hmm. man. Hang out, man, and enjoy myself and live my life from the shit I done been through. Right, and I think yeah. you're deserving of it. Yeah. All the shit you've been through. Obviously, yeah. it's more shit that I probably don't know that I obviously don't know, but then I, then you're I, then blessed. I, then, I like, then I like to play for. I can't really play football no more. You know, brother getting old. So you get old. I, I, after a couple of runs here and there, you know, nah, nigga knees, I like, I can't, well, ooh, I can't do that. You know, the uh -uh. youth, the youth. Yeah. Is the next generation. There's so much that you could do even well, with actually you know, what's as up? you say that I am out coaching, man. Um I'm about to say, y'all can the bring y'all can bring your kids out to the junior aggies. You know what I'm saying? If you real green really? you know what I'm saying? The junior aggies, man, we practice right there, Harrison, man, middle school off Franklin Boulevard. Um I'm a, I'm I wish a I knew that when my coach. son was out yeah. here. Yeah, I just started though. You know okay. what I'm saying? I, I just started honestly like two weeks ago. Okay. Like, but I, I was out told. there. I was out there with the kids. Well, football season is now now. Yeah, it's just, you better, yeah. Oh man, it's about to go down. Yeah. It's about to go down. And mm -hmm. I'm a real Tampa Bay Buck fan. Okay. Anybody, anybody that know me from Greensboro know this ain't no cap. <laughs> I ain't know just cause they won the ring. Right. Fuck right. Tom Brady. But we'll take him, bro. Stay there. He'll you know what just I'm saying? Take Stay there. But fuck you though. I used to Stay be up. into football when yeah. I was in high school. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I was dating a dude who was on a football team. Okay. Yes, and this is what's his, what was this football player? He was on the Eagles. Brian Dawkins. I think yeah. Okay. Brian. Dawkins. Yeah. This is before he retired Dawkins. and all of yeah. that. Yeah. So I used to like him a lot because I'm like, wow, I like his energy. I like the shit he talk. Yeah. Like I really <laughs> like the shit yeah. Brian Dawkins. Talk. So. Big I hit. really was into it, and like when I tell you, I never missed a football game at school. You I like ain't never that. missed no football game. I watched it by myself in the yeah, house. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, I really had a thing for football. I I could watch football before I watch basketball. I'm not even gonna front. And a lot of people are like, but how, Jasmine? What the fuck are they even doing on the football field? Stuff that you don't understand, but I do. Yeah, big hits. That's it, big hits. Like big hits. You know what I'm saying? So long term or short term, like what is what do you see yourself doing? Um, sh short term, man. I, I'm right now, man, because um, we just dropped that bipolar bell album. Um, short term is we just working right now on that, trying to get that out there more. I um, mean, and get that thing heard. Um, long term for me is y'all about to see me way much more, man. We mm -hmm. we about to turn that motherfucker up, man, all the way until we can't turn that bitch up no more. Right. So, that's that's my long term goal, man. Cause we got more music coming, uh, more things we getting into. You know what I'm saying? But 
But just stay tuned, man. Y'all yeah, ain't gonna. Are you looking to stay independent? I, I'm gonna be real with you. Like I tell everybody, man. Like um, if if a mob come to me and telling me the right thing to put me in a situation to help those that I love, man, and mm -hmm. it makes sense, that's what's happening. Another thing I say is handle your business yeah. within this business. Fact. This Set business is 80 percent business yes and 20 percent talent man we could obviously the 20 percent talent man. but it's 80 percent business you understand what i mean so whether you're whether or not you're the artist it's always good to always you know handle your business within this business it doesn't matter if you do have a pr or a manager or something what i feel like the artists who are most hands-on with everything be the most successful yeah you yeah. know, it doesn't mean, it doesn't matter if people, for example, we got to look at Nicki Minaj, look at Kanye West, right? I've heard a lot of shit about them. Oh, they're bitches. They're this, they're this. You know, Kanye West gets a lot of hash. But that's why he's filthy fucking rich, because he's hands-on. He does what he has to do. He yeah. handles his business. Yeah, asshole, yeah. Yeah, he, and not so saying you have to be an asshole, got, but... Do what you need to do to but get if, shit done. But if people have to call you an asshole for yeah. you to get your shit done right... And do that. Do that. It is that what it sense. is. It doesn't make you a jerk. But mm. listen, my eye is on the prize. Right. It doesn't matter how you necessarily feel. No offense to you, but my goal is bigger than what you want to do. Like, and yeah. that's how I always look at shit too. So, yeah. I, I don't know. I feel like you have so much great potential, yes, especially you, you being like Thank a you. newbie within the industry. Obviously, I feel like everyone was born loving music. Yeah. I never. You ever heard somebody say they don't like music? I, I'm gonna be real it. with you. I ain't never heard nobody yeah. say I like music. Nobody. <laughs> you know what I mean? From like, all races and everything. I ain't never heard nobody say I don't like music. Right. Now, they might not like your particular type of music, but I ain't never heard nobody exactly. say they don't like music. So music, it it just feeds your soul. It do certain things, man. Yeah. You what's one some. of your favorite songs? It don't have to uh -huh. be like yours. It don't have to mm. be like what's what made you fall in love with music? Oh uh, man. Song your mother played. I'm gonna be real with you, man. <laughs> I can't even talk about the times with mom do because I remember her used to wake me up in the middle of the night to come dance for her friends. Oh, like, like back in the day, like I that's ain't gonna so front. sweet. Like I fuck around going there, boy, everybody in there, you know what I'm saying, doing what they doing, but they fuck around, put on Thriller. I cut up in that bitch. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, uh -huh. like I'm gonna be real with you, like I always and I like all type of different genres of music. I listen to a little, I listen to everything. You know what I'm saying? And that's being because out my time, I didn't heard a lot of music. Right. But something that made me um. Really, man, I uh, fall in love with music is coming up with my older brother, man. See, back in our day in the 90s, niggas used to play Wu-Tang. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to be real with you, man. Watching the Wu, how they did it, and they all rocked together. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And how they brung that shit together and brung that energy. <laughs> real and New every, Yorkers. And, 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 every, <laughs> and, every, and, every, and everybody had different styles, and that shit was yes. just crazy. And, and one thing that yeah. I do love and appreciate about Wu is that they had the different chambers yes, so whether chamber, you yeah. were the the mo the mm. top ranked like yeah. they still put everybody in Killer different Army, positions yeah. like oh, we're gonna God. put you where you fit in at it's and where you big. fit in and I, I love that and i was able to interview a, like two members of different chambers of the room okay so I definitely do. I could, I could vibe with that. Yeah, yeah the Wu Tang. Man, well, that was my shit. That was what I'm saying. Yeah. That was a this man. Yeah, and the Lost Boys used to come with their shit. Oh man, the, uh, yeah, yeah, Lost Boys yeah, is my yeah, fave. This is how yes. we do every day. <laughs> yes. Me and Ricky Yes. Okay. Hey, hey, what? Turn no, up, I, man. I really do. You got you like the New York shit, but then y'all really know you like the New See, York shit that, because Purge, be the Purge beat is a New York uh, beat. Because you got to think about this, like um. Before the South really got on the scene um, back in the day, mm -hmm. when you was coming up in the 80s and 90s, mm -hmm. all you really heard was either something from New York or you was getting a little flavor from Cali with the N.W.A. thing. And then Atlanta started yeah, afterwards. Then, yeah, then yeah. now when the South came and started giving us, we started hearing our I feel our like own. right now, I feel yeah. like right now the South got it on lock. Yeah. Like when it comes to the industry, the South definitely has it on lock. Of course, if it's you guys' own sound. Yeah. But when it comes to the industry, the southern like man, listen, it's I'm, when Outkast like, did what they did. It made the South. It made it you hard to be. They you. said it the South got something to, to say. Yeah, it made it you hard to be you. You ain't had the like you because you remember back in our day. I'm gonna be real with you. Y'all know. I interviewed someone people. from Goody Mob. Okay. And he schooled me on to a lot of stuff because obviously I'm from New York, so my my love for hip hop comes from a different 
like experience yeah. you know it comes from the birth of hip-hop like for god's sake i i was born in 92 but my brother my oldest brother 50 years old oh yeah so that crack era god, is man. like i like it. yeah like you know like i i'm familiar with that era of hip-hop and things like that where we used to have to buy cassette tapes Say, All type, yeah, the, yeah you the know. Purple tape, Ray Wong, you Ray Wong, you know. No, they we had tape, like these. Ray Kwan, you yes, know what we had it's green rough. cassette tapes. I remember seeing the purple mm -hmm. ones. We had so many different cassette tapes, but um, he schooled me to a lot of things, and it really woke me up. Like, nah, the South really did have something to yeah, say facts. and stood on that shit. And that, and that's <laughs> what made people in the South be comfortable being themselves. Because like when we used to go to our middle school and high school, you had people even acting like they was from New York. And really? then you be like, man, I went to middle school with you and everything. When you, like, you know what I'm saying? You hear somebody be like, yeah, I'm from New York. You know, you then like, they be like, well, my aunt. Yeah, is. you like, we in my last summer. Man, get your ass out of here. You know what I'm saying? So when the South came on the scene, it made us feel like it's cool to be us. What do y'all you know call I mean? all white Nikes down here? Man, I don't, man, I call them ones. I don't okay. know. You know okay. what I'm saying? I always have to ask different people ones. from different places, like, what do y'all call it? Because they... They're ones. I'm, okay. I'm like the ones. I call them the ones. I don't, okay. I don't know nobody else call right. them, but I be the ones. Okay. Some people call them different names, like, what is it? Some phasos? Like, different names. I'm used to ones or uptowns. Yeah, ones, yeah. Or, uh, right, or uptowns. I like. done heard, heard uptowns before, but... Yeah. I some other names, I be like, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. What? Nah. Like I see, they even got names for the all black ones now. They well, got certain them, them all, all black, black ones. ones is when you ready to go yeah. the killer. Well, they, 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 <laughs> they got names for them now. So it's, don't wear no, and especially, mm -hmm. listen, us New Yorkers, we see somebody with all black Nikes, uptowns, whatever you want, ones, we gonna look at you and feel like you up to some funny shit. <laughs> Damn, okay. We don't think you trying to go put on a black hoodie, a black mask, and do oh, some shit. Oh, think you on some bullshit. Yeah, like, okay. no, seriously, like, the only, in New York, like, the only people who really wear those, those type of people are, like, the Mexicans working. I swear to God. <laughs> Nobody wear them to, like, be fresh in or nothing. Like, it's so <laughs> crazy. Yeah, no <laughs> one wears them to be fresh in the New York. Yeah, I hear you catch a motherfucker in some black ones. No, man. I've seen it. I've seen me yeah. personally. I think... Only because the whole mind thing of nah, if I yeah, wear them, I'm gonna get my ass up. cut. Like <laughs> I don't wear them, but yeah. I feel like there's certain things you can wear them with. But you know, niggas like not not about to cut my ass. Nah, I ain't not about to cut JT ass. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, uh, won't catch me. Uh, uh. But um, so far I just I like you guys' culture down here from what I've seen. Yeah, yeah. I like you guys' culture because it's small. You, yeah, it's small, but it's there. It's yeah. something there, and it's so much room to grow down here. Yes, ma'am. It's so much room to grow because, shit, I'm one of the only females that's doing what I do Man, in do Greensboro. And she's doing that thing, doing what she do. Thank you so much. You're doing your thing, too. I ain't even yes, going to hold you like I'm, I said. I'm working. I'm working, man. I'm going to keep working. Ain't no, no breaks. I'm not going to mm -hmm. hold you. One of my favorite songs is Where We From, only because uh -huh. I feel like it, you don't even have to be from Greensboro to fuck with that song. Like, it yeah. could be your anthem. Obviously, it's a Greensboro anthem. Yeah, no doubt no about question. it. No doubt about it. But I feel like if Eastside. you... I feel like wherever you yeah. from, you could rep that song because it's the East Side, West Side, North Side, or in That's every it. hood. You better say it. Everybody in got every it. hood. So it don't matter whatever it is. Rep your shit, stand like on you your say, shit. Like you when I was in Philly, that, that's why I be North Philly and South Philly, exactly. Like West Philly, I'm exactly. Like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So it could literally fit in. Even um, you have someone in the video in that video. No, it's the Persian video, I believe, and the Burrowbred. What's his name? That, that's how, that's the, that's the where we from. That's, okay, that's, so okay, that's, yeah, that's, the, same that's the artist B Mighty right there. Well, I like his brand. They has yeah, Burrow Bread Burrow because Bread. when I saw it. When I saw him, first of all, I already saw the shirts before, right? And I'm like, I like those shirts, but I'm not from Greensboro. I'm from Brooklyn. So when I saw him, he was like, but that's still a borough. 
Yeah, <laughs> he was yeah. like, that's still a borough. still a borough. You it is, because it's five boroughs. You, yeah. so you can't go wrong with it. Well, you borough bread. They say it's five, but we only count four, because Staten Island. Like, oh, here she go, see? <laughs> her annoying shit. I don't look, see? <laughs> Listen, Staten Island, if y'all watching, no, no shade to y'all, but y'all not a part of us. Y'all that's like the forgotten borough. Damn. Cause you ha- All right, for example. New so y'all only got four boroughs in. Yeah. Oh man, it's five on the geographical okay, map. Okay, five boroughs, <laughs> but that's counted. So, oh, for example, man. when you I, you're gonna eventually go to New York and experience yes, it. I am true indeed. Now, Staten Island. The reason we don't count Staten Island as a borough is because who the fuck want to take a ferry to get to the next borough? Like, why oh, we gotta? Facts. gotta why we gotta, gotta take a water. boat? Mm-hmm. Like, we gotta cross the like. There's no other way. Like, if if you don't take the boat, you have to drive across a huge bridge for mad. How long was that trip? Staten Island's far. Like, for example, I used to work in Brooklyn, New York, and I used to work in Staten I mean, I lived in Brooklyn, New York, and I worked in Staten Island. So I would have to travel like a 30 minutes on the subway to get to the Staten Island Ferry. It's called the Staten Island Ferry. And then I would have to wait for that Staten Island Ferry She's to take me across all the way across the river. Like, nobody, who want to do all of that just to go to that's Staten right. Island? Yeah, like, that, that's too much. Yeah, that's nobody want to do that. So, yeah. dear, that's why, you see why it's called the that's Forgotten like, Borough? That's like taking the ferry to the high point. Like, they like, nobody want to do that? that? Nobody want to do that. Yeah, I, I'm just going to That's drive. why it's the Forgotten yeah. Borough. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, nobody want to, but the only reason it's not forgotten, because of Wu-Tang. <laughs> that's for <price. laughs> <laughs> Because of Wu-Tang. That's why, okay? Oh, man. So... Within, all right, now it's time for me to keep it up. So your first few videos that I saw, I did not like them. I liked the songs, but I did not like the visuals. Because I'm like, no, they're not about to play my man short like this. He's a good-ass artist. I don't like those visuals. I did not like it. So it's the twerk, no, yeah, it's the twerking one, and it's another one you, uh, you had. And I'm like, nah, he needs to do these visuals over. Cause these are good songs okay okay, okay you know how nowadays a lot of artists they remaster their songs yeah you could do the same shit with your vid- your visuals because you have so- some good music but a few of your visuals don't do it no justice in the way i don't sell myself short i preach people like don't sell yourself short so i think when it comes to certain stuff it's okay to go back to the drawing board mm-hmm. and be like not hard but be your toughest critic mm-hmm you get what I mean? And I mean that the, in the most respectful oh, I, way. I, and, and I respect it. Mm-hmm. You know, and I respect it. And I love that, that you're being real. Mm-hmm. But uh, like the way I am I'm, I'm with the videos, and I respect everything you're saying. Mm-hmm. But see, I, um, they hit, and they hit so you can see the progress as I grow. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So No, I'm not saying yeah, d- yeah, delete yeah, them. I, no, no, no. I see, <laughs> I, ain't saying. Delete them. I see what you're saying. Like, go back and read. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I, I'm going to be real with you. Just the type of person I am. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I know you're not, you know what I'm but saying? I'm just I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, I, and I love that because you're mm-hmm. suggesting that that means a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, what you said. Especially from a supporter. Yeah. Oh, you man, know, hell from yeah. Because like, that, that means a lot to me because I'd be like, okay, you saying that, look, I'm selling myself. Okay, that means now from here on out, when I go, I got to go exactly. hard. Exactly. You know I got to make sure that motherfucker bang. Exactly. You know so, that's all that is. Yeah, I, I love yeah, it. I love it. You know what I'm that's saying? That's definitely all that is to make sure, all right, yeah. I remember that Jazz yeah. said this. Hell yeah. I now love I'm it because I'm getting this, to sit yeah. with you and you giving me something real. And mm-hmm. that's something like if a, if a person is a real person to like, you ain't supposed to get an attitude. Oh, I know. Yes, me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you ain't supposed to get That's why I love it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, you know, mm-hmm. most people will tell you anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, that shit good. That shit. No, yeah. I can't. I'm, I don't know. I can't be that way, yeah. Yeah. especially if I feel like, first of all, you about buy a humble bowl. We chopping it up. And if I feel like you going to produce, like, drop trash, it's going to mm-hmm. be like, damn, I interviewed that person. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> you get what I'm yeah, saying? Because yeah. it's like, damn. Because mm-hmm. even with you, it's like, dag, what if Jasmine really trashed? Like, I, I, my name's connected to her. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I it's big on just certain stuff. But I really, when I see potential in people, I don't even care what it is. I'm going to say, hey, Don't even trip. I, I love yeah. that. Because I love it, it. It, it makes me, like, with my progress. I'm not but I do hand. see the progress. Yeah, yeah, because it goes... One video, okay, huh? Then we come and just get it, get better and better. No, and I see that. You know what I'm saying? I see going. that. So all I'm saying is to my dog, you know what I'm saying? Cold Train Productions. Let's make sure mm-hmm. we hit their ass hard. You know what I'm so saying? So it's the same headed. videographer from mm-hmm. all of the videos? No, um, not for a few. Um, okay. For the first one, I used my brother, um, Red, what was it? Red Vision. Okay. It was down there in our, in Red Visual in our Tampa, Florida. Okay. And my second video, I went with um, 
Cold Train Productions and my man um over there at Baker Soda TV, Sharil Jordan. Ba mm, yes, man. speaking of them, yeah. um, I got a link with them. They told me to pull up with you after. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah. told me to pull, pull up with you up, after. Pull up, pull up, pull because, up. Um, but but yeah, with, with our team, though, see, and like, because we got, because like how we working is, I'm working with the city of Greensboro, so we, it's like we all growing together. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So we I all, love it. Yeah, That's we, how it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. We we growing together. So the only thing we gonna do as is grow the, together. As, as the city of Greens Brothers get better. You know yeah, and it. I respect it. Yeah, no, I don't. No yeah, I definitely respect it, and I see it. But yeah. I just had to throw my opinion. Man, man you supposed to. <laughs> that, that's respectfully. You supposed yes, to. Yes, yes, like, yes. Like, and that make me fuck with you even more because I'm like, yo, she's a real one. Thank you. Know you. I saying? appreciate so that. So many I motherfuckers do. wouldn't have said nothing. You no, know, man, you did. So, no, yeah. so listen. I listen. Fuck, I fuck listen, with the homies. She can't I be, definitely do. Yeah. Even like with my home. Oh man, I have homeboys who just released the project, and they pride the songs is good, but one of their songs was recorded horribly. It, yeah, you got to put your money it into that shit. It was recorded so. horribly, yeah. but they still released the project, and I was like, why y'all didn't run it for me first? Because yeah. that's what one thing people do. I'm not gonna front. Some people. <clears throat> some people do pay me for consultations before they release projects mm -hmm. because I do critique music. Yeah. I don't really promote that because it's not, not, I like to sit down and talk to people. But I do have a ear for music. My brother, he was in Murder Inc. He was Black Child. So, okay. like, I, right. I love music. Like, music is just my family, especially that raw shit. Like, that's what I used to hear my brother rapping all the time, just raw stuff. <laughs> so, I, and also how I look at it is my kid. Kids know music. Man, you listen. Kids man. know music. Right now, you better say it. My, my son and my, listen, my son and, I, and, and my Rennie Pooh, man. I'm a, my daughter, my son Rennie and my Poo. daughter. I'm Rennie Pooh. Listen, that's how you know when I got me a banger. Yeah. Because when they around... Jumping and singing and song and rocking like off the first minute. No, I'd be music. like, I got something. Now when I'm playing my music and my son come over, and he like, I'm like, I gotta tighten up next beat. You know what I'm saying? Because like you say, kids know. And my son is coming over in the man. He like, Daddy, that's your beat. I don't know, Daddy. Why do Respect. you feel like kids know? Like are more they gravitate more to certain things? Do you think it's because of their innocence that's still there yes it's because definitely even definitely. when it because if you think about it they know energy i'm gonna be real with they you know. kids are pure so you, okay. don't know but they don't know nothing bad unless we put it in them that is true you know what i'm saying they that's got true. pure heart and pure energy they, they are pure and mm -hmm. the only thing that they gonna know if a person bad or something bad is if you tell them that mm -hmm. so when they come around you're gonna get the realness they're gonna give it to you pure so when, like for me when i go around somebody and my son don't fuck with them, I don't fuck I, with him. Me too. I don't care where we at. If I go around there and my son, like, he ain't his normal self, like he normally be his happy, jolly self, man, we out of here. You know what I'm saying? Something ain't right. But you have to pay attention yeah. to that. And I, I yeah, paid yeah. attention to that myself. Because even, I, I just thank God for my blessings. Because my lovely lady, lady King Nibbles, my son loves her. Her. Right. Now, people like this one person I've dated before. He held it down, but I would I would notice like now that where I'm at now, I'm like, okay, I see how he interacts with her, right? Mm. And I'm like, the last person he was kind of like yeah. stands offish. Come to find out, he told me he was like, yeah, mom, I didn't like her. Oh, okay. They well, feel. thank they, you. They feel. <laughs> they feel the energy. They, feel. they definitely feel the energy, and they know it is the purity. It is the purity. Man, man. Um. Now you a man who's not afraid of emotion, to express emotion. Hell no. Nah. How do you deal with like mental health and stuff like that? Like how do you do it? I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you. I ain't um, as great with it as I should be. You know what I'm saying? Like, Because I, I, I go through some fucked up things and I've been through some fucked up things. So sometimes That's I, what I'm saying. I do like, some fucked up things. But I, I just, I'm going to be real with you. Um, Man, I'm just taking that shit one day at a time, I'm, like everybody else, man. Like, cause shit, shit be real. I'm just um, like I say, off my backbone, being my mama, the way she raised us, uh, just made me for tough. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. just off the way she raised me, made me be able to deal with certain things in a different way that you see other people fold. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember, like, like when I first got my first crib, my first apartment, and I remember the first time. I ain't had the bread when I was supposed to pay them light bills and them bitches went out. Mm -hmm. I done seen most people panic and lose their right. mind. Shit, you came to my crib, it was like a 
hate to say it, but kind of like dinners every night in that motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Until we got this. It's just Listen, like, yeah. Yeah, she prepared me for certain shit, man. So it's like um, when I'm going through certain shit, man, and, and I'm having them rough times, and I've been that I had to go through prison and go through the shit I had to go through, like just like I had to learn in there. Sometimes, man, you just need to take time to yourself. Like when mm -hmm. I'm having a, if I wake up in the morning and it just ain't right, or the day ain't right, I'm just gonna tell everybody I can't deal today. Like, let me I just, respect yeah. that, and it's good to be vocal about it yeah, instead of hiding to. it. Yeah, yeah, because you you don't want to. Like I say, I don't ever want to snap on a person for the wrong reason. Like it ain't even towards them. You mm -hmm. feeling some type of way about something else, and they just call you at the wrong time. How do you deal with that in a relationship? Oh man, I'm gonna be real with you. I just gonna say, it, man, I got it. Because I need to know. Yet. Because me, I'm the I'm a cancer, so I'm very emotional. I'm very. See, emotional. I'm, I'm, I'm a Scorpio, so. <laughs> hey, y'all niggas don't be giving fuck. And, and, and I'm 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 and I'm petty. I'm a petty. I know. Like I, boy, I get on some bullshit in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, I just got how I'm deal how I deal with everything is. I got to realize. I'm not perfect, and no human is perfect. Okay. So with mistakes, you just got to learn how to deal with that shit, and if you're going to be with a person, fight through it. Mm -hmm. That's it. And if you ain't, just don't be with that. Right. Now, mm -hmm. I asked about the mental health because, you know, like, that's a, t a subject that a lot of us in our black community, we don't really talk about comfortably. It's kind of like taboo, you know. Man, we got, man. We have man. to, though. Especially, I feel like, I, I, one thing I do preach about is men be being okay with themselves like it doesn't make you sore if it don't make you weak like nigga you a, a human no, listen, you a I fucking human feel, i don't feel no type of way um about i'm gonna keep it real with you as a man you don't never want the world or anybody to see you at your vulnerable time you know what i'm saying you don't never want to see that but when i'm in a real moment um like i was with my bro um did that song mm -hmm. when you in that real moment sometimes you just can't help that shit because you know where you came from and where you at now. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when that goddamn feeling take over you, that real feeling, and I'm gonna be real with you, like my bro told me, you ain't doing this shit right if you don't drop a tear about this shit. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't dropped a tear behind your music that you putting out, um, so when you didn't perform and when you didn't look out in the crowd and seen your people looking at mm -hmm. you, if you ain't shed a tear behind this shit. Bro, you need to just hang it up because you ain't doing something right. And I feel like that's with anything. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter what line of work, you, whatever it is. If uh. you're genuine about what it is you do, you gonna shed some tears. You gotta put blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, Whether it's happy tears, sad tears, proud tears, it, yeah. it's real. It's yeah, real. Yeah. It's a journey. And shout out to my good friends over at Respect the Journey. One of them is at, they actually came to the um, release last week as well. Respect the journey is just literally what it says. Respect the journey. They're a podcast mm -hmm. that they air every Thursday from four to seven p.m. From they brothers out from Queens, New York, okay. but they live out here in Greensboro, and um, it's literally respect the journey. Mm. Everybody's journey is different, is. but just remember the goal and what got you there, and that's that journey. And I see that bet behind what you do, and just the team you have because i felt the love i felt the support whether you light skin whether you have a <laughs> motherfucking a, a blue flag red flag that's purple right. brown it yeah. didn't matter and it was that's, love it was unity and i loved it i appreciate it um what do you again now what are, can we expect from you like i know you just dropped your album like what else do, can we expect oh, from you before i let you go i mean listen man um, we just dropped that bipolar better album but uh, we right back at your ass, man. I'm in October, man. Be looking for something. I can't speak on it for mm -hmm. show now. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't know for okay. show, show. But in August, I'm like, no, I'm October. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? I might have something for your ass. He said you know he closing so out fourth quarter real yeah, good. Yeah. Then while your ass sleeping on that and you just waking up getting vibe to that, the first of the year, you might get something else. Who knows, man? Okay. So, so y'all just be on the lookout, cause man, um, fat gangster, man, we ain't stopping. So for now, you all in with what you. Oh uh, man, this. listen, this is... man, listen. Heavy-handed tribe and seven and one won't let me sleep. You know what I'm saying? We not gonna sleep. You know what I'm saying? We gonna just eat until we can't eat no more, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 we going foot on next. We not stopping. The well, team won't let me sleep. Well, it's real in the field. I appreciate you for yes, coming. Yes, man, man. I do. 
Listen, uh. promote your music, promote your social media where everybody can find you, and we're going to let you go ahead and get up out of here. Oh, fat gangster. Oh. Uh. Yes, fat gangster. Uh. Hey. Oh, you know what? I think I want that remote so we could play it in the background.